Okay, I'm working on my 4020 here. Um, having some hydraulic issues. Got uh, got a leak over here under this thing, under those in those arms on the control thing. So I dropped the fluid here. Uh, big nut that comes right underneath there, and then back here, there's a big square nut comes off and this uh, strainer is in there and I've never had it off in the 20 years that I've owned this tractor uh, you can see barely that it's pretty dirty um, got some metal issues and the focuses it's the metal issues going on this was the later part of this was really hard to get out because of all the metal in there. You can kind of see in there what we got. And so yeah, this is right by the arm, right below the hub here. Right behind, I got two filters on here, right behind the second filter. So it's right there on this 4020. And this is probably the first time I've ever had this out. Not knowing that it was there or not. But I think it'd be a good idea every time you change hydraulic fluid to pull that out and clean that. Um, yeah, you can see some metal particles and whatnot. So... Good thing to take out and uh, a little condensation on the tractor. Very humid today here in, in Wisconsin. Um, moisture is coming out of everything. So, yeah. And this is only my second, uh, second pail. It's supposed to be 14 gallons in here, so I was dropping a lot of fluid. But, uh, yeah. Let's go check on that other... Let's go check on that other, uh, let's go check on that other thing that I'm thinking where, where it's leaking from. I'm just going to put this over here so the, doesn't get, uh, this is what I'm putting in. I'm putting in, uh, G134 New Holland oil. Um, used it for many.